we are with uh, a very important person who has done human service to our nation in terms of health dr devi prasad shetty dr shetty is very well known as a heart specialist he has won many awards and uh, we are trying to understand some key issues health issues facing the nation in terms of infrastructure in terms of policy issues public private participation and uh, let's go directly to dr shetty welcome to thank Dikyu you prime sir thank you so my first question is you know again let me repeat the points that keep coming every now and then especially recently we have come across many people who go for fitness and suddenly there is this news which hits us saying that you know somebody passed away at the gym now that's a little shocking considering that someone has gone for fitness <laughs> and uh, had a cardiac arrest or heart attack and is this one off or is this something we need to worry about we of course need to worry about but there is a simple solution the simple solution is it is very very important for every indian past the age of 30 to have undergone a basic screening of the heart and the general test we are very vulnerable for diabetes we are very vulnerable for heart disease we are three times more vulnerable than caucasians and we develop heart attack at a much younger age and since huge population is diabetic diabetes doesn't present itself with uh, very obvious symptoms right yeah early stage nobody knows unless you have tested the blood mm -hmm. over 1.5% of indians suffer from coronary artery anomalies that is coronary artery comes on the wrong side okay so we have a perfect recipe for a disaster like this and every time a celebrity has a cardiac problem it becomes a sensation but nobody wants to give the exact solution the solution is it doesn't matter how fit you feel how fit you feel has nothing to do with how fit you are right you may stand in front of me saying that look i can run a marathon mm. in whatever the record period of time mm. i will congratulate you but if you want me to say you are a fit person get me a blood test get me a ecg an echocardiogram and a cardiac ct scan of the heart if these things are okay i'll say okay you are a reasonably fit person and people go to gym do all kinds of uh, workout extreme workout without having any knowledge about how their health is right. how their heart condition is and this will keep on happening it doesn't matter whether you are young or old Correct. if you are getting into extreme sports you must go for a screening all this lifestyle modification this one that one that's all secondary right. first you should know where you are a 40 year old person must know what is the current level of his uh, fitness status right that leads me to the next question genetically i think as you have said in many of your interviews that we indians have that problem uh cardiac problems are one of the main causes of deaths apparently i think according to a survey it's about a fourth of all the deaths in the country cardiac disease globally is the number one cause of death 32 over 32% of the deaths are related to cardiac, cardiac. Uh, disease mm -hmm. yeah huh. so in terms of uh the care in terms of the infrastructure how many cardiac patients would be there what are the gaps in our uh, treatment surgery etc you know uh, are we fully equipped and what kind of gaps are we seeing we have a huge gap like most of the countries india for a population of over 1.3 billion people we need to be doing at least four to five times more heart surgeries than uh, us that means we need to do more than a million heart operations a year we are hardly doing maybe 150000 heart operations a year so there is a huge gap but how can we fill that gap what what kind of policy first of all we are extremely short of doctors yes that's very very important especially cardiac specialist extremely short then we don't have that many hospitals hospitals cannot come up unless there is a financial intermediary called a health insurance 
we have hardly a tiny tiny percentage of the uh, population, population is covered by health insurance without that no hospital will come up because people don't have the cash money to pay for it in a country like india should have over 100 insurance companies offering varieties of health insurance from a tiny a few rupees payment to few thousand uh, rupees payment that has to happen unless we have a mature health insurance uh, system healthcare won't blossom because you can't rely on the government hmm. to uh, offer a free treatment to every citizen government is doing a good job in taking care of the poor yes but the uh, the middle class the missing middle and the uh, rest have a serious problem because middle class people, if they need to get a heart surgery or a brain operation, cancer surgery, they will have a serious problem. You may earn 30,000 rupees per month, but if your father or mother requires a major healthcare intervention, without insurance, it is not possible. Yeah. Our biggest problem today in healthcare is only two one is lack of doctors, other one is health insurance. Yeah. So, uh, when it comes to lack of doctors, we keep seeing the number of uh, medical institutions, you know, some by the government, uh, some by the uh, private uh, institutions. Do you think the focus there has to be more on specialization in cardiology? Is that a way to go to fill the gap? See, the first thing is we have over 500 or nearly 600 medical colleges. But they are hardly producing 100 students, 150 doctors a year. Whereas these medical colleges can easily produce 500 uh, doctors a year. So we spend more than 500, 600 crore rupees and create an edifice called medical college. And that produces only 100 doctors, 150 doctors per year. There is a huge productivity gap. There are medical colleges with half the infrastructure in US producing 300 doctors per year. Now, are we going to say that we want to maintain a higher standard than American medical colleges? I wish we can, but we have to understand we don't have the money. So existing medical colleges should be allowed to produce at least 300 to 500 doctors a year. Then over a period of 10 years, we'll be able to uh, uh, produce adequate yes. number of doctors because when India produces doctors, we can't look at Indian uh, requirement. Right. Because uh, there are over 30,000, 40,000 Indian doctors working uh, in England. England, yeah. Right? Yeah. Huge number of doctors working in US. So, Indian doctors are very comfortable in going to any part of the world and working and serving those population. But that's not the other way around. Yes. Those doctors from those countries don't want to work in other countries. So, when we are a healer for the world, we have to behave like healers. We have to produce, look at the global requirement. The crunch of health workers, what you are seeing is nothing compared to what you will see in the next two years. Because of the COVID, 10 to 15 percent of the actively serving nurses in the US have taken premature retirement. And a significant number in England have taken premature retirement. People don't want to embrace healthcare industry. Now they have to fill up the gap. I'm sure you would have read in the paper uh, recently the, the Premier and the Health Minister of uh, Newfoundland, in, mm -hmm. I think in Canada, one of the provinces of Canada or one of the part of Canada. They are planning to come to India only for the purpose of interviewing uh, nurses. Nurses, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it is going to be the norm. Today, there are a lot of restrictions for an Indian nurse to work in those countries. Gradually, these restrictions are we'll getting lifted. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we will have a serious crisis. So, within India itself, there will be a huge shortage of nurses. We have shortage of more than 2 million nurses. 2 million? Yes. That will take years to... See, we have to realize that we are the largest, we are going to be the largest country in the world. So, we need to produce the largest number of healthcare workforce. And especially given the fact that, uh, you know, the uh, senior citizens, the population as a proportion exactly. are going to increase because increasing. life expectancy yes. is increasing. Yeah. There, is a, uh, there is a shortage of over 80 million health workers across the world. 80 million today. 
no country in the world has plans to train the workforce to fill up that not even position. china uh, sorry not even china no nobody has plans nobody has plans because everyone thinks that if there is a shortage we can always poach from other countries but we in india we don't have the luxury right we can't afford to pay those salaries right so we have a natural but we produce 24 million babies a year yeah in in every other service sector you know we find that there is a large number of people available to provide support services uh traditionally you know women have been doing the nursing service of late i see also some younger men coming into the picture so there again is there a cultural gap of people not coming forward to provide nursing services see the 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 problem is not their willingness to uh, work uh, join the nursing service we need to have lot more nursing colleges, colleges. yeah government is trying their best but then various councils have their own regulations various state uh, ministries have their own regulations so there is the seriousness to uh, increase the number of nursing colleges or the uh, you know the, the, this the, 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 this hasn't yet uh, uh, started but started, yeah. yeah but the, i can see the government is trying their best to encourage all these activities to happen so hopefully it should happen soon yeah but are you also on any of the panels advising the government on these thing the i used to be in the medical council of india many years ago right. but uh, as a uh, uh, person senior doctor i keep advising various state governments and the various governments they are governments are lot more listening to us now compared to Compared what it was before yeah. yes yeah i think yes. especially after covid uh, yeah, the yeah, need for yeah. urgently rapid yes. the other question is you know a population's health itself is a uh, you know health uh, health profile of the population is something very important we have a large number of large percentage of young population between the age of 14 to 50 do you think that is where we need to focus to make sure that in future we control both sides you know preventing as well as treatment how would you approach that in terms of uh, inculcating let's say at a, an academic level itself to start the health see the compared to what it used to be 10 20 years ago there is much more awareness about uh, fitness right you see large number of gyms coming up across the country shows that people want to be uh, fit uh, also the uh, the government policies are also now helping in terms of uh, uh, encouraging corporates companies to uh, uh, invest on uh, cor- corporate uh, uh, health fitness programs and tax concession they get for health insurance, health insurance. all these good things are happening but it is a long way to go right long way to go uh, funding and cost are major issues you know you have set up this institution uh, apollo hospitals or delhi uh, you know uh, Ms. dr trehan they've all set up but that's not enough is there a model where we can have a private private partnership for example to go back to the 60s hindustan aeronautics has its own hospital taking care of their own employees they had all the facilities plus they would treat outsiders today are there corporates for example who can collaborate with you and say that look we can set up in our premises large corporates it could be an infosys it could be wipro it could be any company do you think that model will help reduce the pressure in the urban areas see the there are a lot of uh, collaboration going on like uh, you know we are working with the uh, shrine board of jammu we okay. manage their hospital right a uh, lot of governments want private sector to manage some of their hospitals a lot of changes are happening but these are in a very uh, nascent stage and it will take quite some time for this to happen the biggest problem what we face is uh, building a hospital is one time investment right. but to keep it going right. is very expensive unless there is a financial intermediary like a health insurance it is difficult yeah and the cost of treatment cost of surgery for example how do you think technology can help it bring down or 
given the cost keeps on increasing uh, that's a very important aspect i so maybe, maybe that's also one of the reasons people may step back and say let me see it later see the india is an amazing story of controlling cost or affordable health care i left england in 1989 and i did the first heart surgery in calcutta 32 years ago and the patient paid 1 and 1/2 lakh rupees today we do the same operation for the same amount or even less 32 years later tell me what was 1 and 1/2 lakh rupees hmm. 32 years earlier he is costing the same or less today nothing Absolutely. only health care that has happened primarily because of the passionate doctors nurses technicians and government policies to uh, roll out health care in multiple locations uh, has having large number of medical colleges trying to uh, produce more doctors but we are a big country whatever effort you yeah. make there is so much to be done absolutely yeah uh, coming back again to the core issue uh, which is getting more medical students who would be capable of doing this what could be the solution there because 10 years from now the same problem will continue at one level uh, you know existing institutions are taking care but at another level we are going to face this problem 10 years down the line how can we improve our medical colleges and institutions what should be your uh, policy approach first of all we have to change the way we train nurses doctors technicians i'll give you one example at the age of 18 some boys and girls decide to become nurses yeah they join a nursing college at the age of 18 some boys and girls decide to become pilots they join pilot training institution at the end of 10 months boys and girls who joined the pilot training institute are given a license to fly a plane with passengers whereas boys and girls who join the nursing college and graduate after 4 years they are still young nurses without much without much experience so the experience starts after 4 years right if a nurse makes a mistake one patient is going to suffer correct if a pilot makes a mistake large number of people are going to suffer right right so what is the difference the difference is whether it's a medical education nursing all these educations are taught in classrooms all this classroom education whatever was happening today all the teaching material is available online free so all these kids should be given the access to link and the access to those online material from day one they should be working in the hospital bedside you cannot teach people to swim in a classroom they should be inside the swimming pool so put them in the classroom for day one teaching material should be available online and you have practical uh, experiences and discussions uh, at least one or two hours a day somewhere in part of the hospital don't keep them away from the uh, patients right yeah okay so uh, my last question to conclude this interview what would be the tip to a family when somebody says that i have a bit of a pain here there is palpitation what should be their response what would be a simple tip that you want to give them first thing is go for a preventive checkup understand the status of your health that's the most important thing no point in assuming because half the time people develop mild discomfort and mm-hmm. you know some uh, constriction of the chest palpitation no wait any doctor can diagnose right without doing the tests and looking at the reports correct right so preventive checkup is the most important thing once it is done once you are healthy then you have to look at the risk factor modifications like if you are a smoker quit smoking because cigarette tobacco mm-hmm. is singularly responsible for huge huge uh, increase in the number of heart cancer and everything then if you are a diabetic diabetes should be controlled hypertension blood sugar should, pressure should be controlled like this all this risk factor modification but more than anything else 
I would like everyone to be spiritual. Right. That is very important. I'm not saying you should be religious. Right. Be spiritual. Calm down. Yes. You know, don't run around. Wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, doctor, uh, for all the tips, policy issues, health issues, infrastructure, training. I think we have covered a whole gamut of issues and it will be lovely to keep coming back to you and talking about these issues as and when next time. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you.